Hi guys, there have been several reports over the last few weeks of M1 Mac users experiencing excessive SSD usage. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can check the SSD usage on your own M1 Mac. First you'll need to download a utility called Smartmon Tools, which can be found on SourceForge. Go to sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash smartmon tools forward slash files. I'll put a link to this site down in the video description to make it easier. Then click on the green button labelled download latest version. This will download the DMG file to your Mac. Once it's downloaded go to your downloads folder and double click the DMG to mount it. Inside the DMG you'll find a readme file and an installation package. Double click on the installation package to begin installing. Because of big source security settings you'll see a message saying that it can't be installed. To bypass it open system preferences, then click on security and privacy, click open anyway and then click open. This will allow the installation to continue. Once the installer opens click continue, then continue again, agree and then click install. Then you'll have to enter your administrator password and finally click install software. Once it's been installed, open a terminal window and change to the directory where it was installed by typing cd forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash sbin and press enter. If you type ls hyphen l to bring up a directory listing, you should see the smart ctl program listed, which is the program you want to run to get the drive information. Your internal SSD identifier is likely going to be disk 0. You can check that by typing diskutil list. You'll see your internal drive listed at the top with the capacity and the drive identifier disk 0 on the right. Now type dot forward slash smartctl hyphen a forward slash dev forward slash disk 0. Press enter and smartctl will query the drive and report the smart information. The most important figure to look at here is the value for data units written. This gives you the total amount of data that's been written to the drive over the entire life of the laptop. In my case you can see that it's 9.66 terabytes. This is on a machine that's about 7 weeks old. So my drive is writing about 1.4 terabytes per week on average. For the sake of comparison my 5 year old Intel MacBook from 2016 has written 17.1 terabytes since it was new which is about 0.06 terabytes per week. Based on this and other tests I've run, the M1 Mac seems to be writing about 23 times more data to the SSD than the Intel Mac over the same time period. I'd be really interested to see what other users are experiencing, so if you've run Smart CTL on your own M1 Mac, please post your results down in the comments below. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.